Is there a right answer? Is there a right answer to whether we should get married? Anyone? Is there a globally right answer? Is there a right answer to whether we should have children? Is there a right answer to any of the decisions we face? I mean, very, most of us aren't facing decisions of whether to kill someone or not. Obviously, that has a right answer and not a right answer. But the decisions that, and those decisions do not stress us out. We never stand there thinking, oh my God, should I blow out his brains or should I not blow out his brains? The decisions that stress us out are life decisions, jobs, kids, families, a menu, how to spend our time, what TV show to watch. I mean, some we would consider more important than less important, but this is the stuff. Go to Delhi, go to Bangalore, go to Paris, go to London, go to the movies, go to the park. Yeah, this is, this is, this is our, our lives. So the first piece is, is there a right answer? Is there? Well, it's important to know this because it, you've asked, how do we make a wise decision? And in order to make a wise decision, we need to know whether there even is a correct answer. Are we searching for an answer? Like, what is the square root of 174? There's a right answer. I don't know what it is, but there is a right answer. And if you give me the right tools, like a calculator, I could figure it out. But is there a right answer to this question? No. So if there's not a right answer, first of all, that's very freeing. Because if there's not a right answer, is there a wrong answer? Is there? Is there a wrong answer? No. So did that just alleviate anyone else's stress? Because it made me feel much better. The minute we realize there's not a wrong answer, suddenly the anxiety about these decisions dissipates incredibly. Oh. Now it's just a decision. There is no wrong answer. But there is, there is wisdom. And you've asked it nicely, how to make a wise decision. Well, the way to make a wise decision is to know who's asking the question. Because even though there may not be a globally right answer or a globally wrong answer, on an individual basis, there certainly may be better decisions than not better decisions. If you're 15 and unmarried, it's in most cases pretty much not a good decision to have children. You're older, you're married, you're stable. You want to have children? Sure, go right ahead. Depends on the person. So what's important is to understand who's asking. And this is why spirituality always focuses on who, not what. So we're not told, here's what you must do. But we're told here is how to learn who you are. The only thing you must do is know yourself. That's the key. It's not that meditation or a spiritual practice tells you which job to get, which person to marry, which city to live in, whether to buy a flat or a house. What it does is it tells you who you are. And when you know who you are, then what to do becomes much more obvious. 
We speak so frequently about how, you know, a bird flies and it eats bird food and it chirps and a dog doesn't fly and it eats dog food and it barks and you never see situations of dogs trying to jump off buildings and fly because they think they're a bird. You never see situations of birds eating dog food or cats trying to bark because they, they intuitively know who they are and when they know I'm a dog, I'm a cat, I'm a bird, well, what to do follows. And for us, it's the same. When we know who we are, and of course, it's not quite as cut and dry as dog or cat or bird. Luckily, there's a lot more nuanced, beautiful variety. But when we have some clarity of who we are, then what to do follows. And the very last piece just to share with you on this is, as I was saying with the earlier question, the only wrong decision is to not do something simply out of fear of what will happen if you fail, what will people say, to listen, what will people think? The only wrong decision it is, is a decision made as the unconscious slave of the voices in my head that are not the truth of who I am. That's the only stuff we regret later on in life. So the only wrong decision is not stepping up to the plate, not unfolding as who you are, not having courage. Those are the only wrong decisions. The rest is just the stuff that the paths of our lives are made of.